All right, guys, welcome back. This video is sort of a sequel to the last the snapshot I did last uh, uh, yesterday. So here we are in the last snapshot. I talked about a new command, which is called the scoreboard. And now, uh, at that moment, I did not know how it worked, and I figured it out. I read on the internet a lot, and now I know how it works. So I made a video just for that, and I will explain to you how to use the scoreboard. So I made a diagram here, which will teach you guys how it works. So it looks pretty awful and whatever, but that's how it works. So I will go over all of this in details, in details. so that way you will know how to use the scoreboard. So let's start. Every command for the scoreboard starts with scoreboard. After that, you have two options, either objectives or players. So let's go on objectives for now. Whenever you write objectives, you have, again, three options. Either add, which is here, set display, or remove. So let's go on with add. So once you write add, you can choose your objective's name. So you have to write in the name of your objectives. After that, you have four options, either dummy, dead count, player kill count, or total kill count. So whenever, whatever I choose, let's say a kill, I want the scoreboard to record my kill. Well, whenever I kill something, I will have a point. If you choose dummy though, Nothing does it uh, records whatever by itself. So you have to change the score manually. There is a command below here to ch change the score. I will show it to you later on. If you have dummy, which I'll show an example, death count, which whenever you you die, it will register a point on your scoreboard. Player kill count, which is whenever you kill a player, so it's for PvP, you get a point. Total kill count which is whatever is a living creature, so a pig, spider, zombie, silverfish, another player, doesn't matter what, if, it, if you kill it, it counts. If we go on list, you will be able to, actually uh, before list and, this, and set display, you have two options, either list or sidebar. So this, uh, this are the two options for you to see your score. So list will, after that you, you have to write in objectives name and you will be able to, sh to see your score by pressing tab and your score will be a yellow number which I will show later on. Sidebar, uh, it's uh, actually on the right hand side of your screen which is going to be shown so about here. You'll have uh, the um, name of the objectives and all the players name with their score right beside it. And remove will be uh, will allow you to remove uh, an objective. So you just write remove objective name and then press enter and the, you delete the objectives. When you go on to players, you have four options, either set, add, remove, or list. If you set, if you write in set, you, you will be able to, after writing the player's name, objective name, and then you write any number, you press enter, and you will give the player you wrote his name the amount of point you wrote as the number. If you write an add, player's name, objective name, and then any number, you will add the amount of points you wrote to his score he has. So instead of replacing his score, you will just add it to it. And if you write remote, uh, remove, why remote, what is that? Okay, <laughs> so remove, and then you will build, it's completely the opposite from add, so you remove the point from the players. And if you write in list, you will be able to see all the players which are playing your objectives. So um, let's start. I will go with scoreboard, objective, add, and I will go on after that. So score, board, space, objectives, add, space. I will call it um, death count, actually. So I will not show um, the dummy function since it does nothing, basically. So let's go, I'll call this objective deaths, with a T, deaths, and then I have to write in death count. So all the capital letters are really important. If you don't write the capital C, it's not gonna work. So death count, and then enter. It works properly. And if I go on this side here, I have a comment block, which in it I wrote slash 
test for the nearest player from the block, which is me. In these brackets, I wrote a score underscore depth, which is the name of the objectives I have right now, and a minimum of four. So in order for this current block to output a signal through the comparator, which is behind, I need to have died a minimum of four times. So I, actually, before I do this, I will um, allow the score to be shown. So I will just go scoreboard, objective, set display, and sidebar. Sidebar. So here we go. Scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, and then the name, which is depths. Enter. So now I will be able to see my score, which I have zero now, so you don't see anything. If actually I go over there, you're gonna see. I'll actually I'll put myself on survival before. So what is it? game mode? Wah! Game mode zero. I'm on survival. I throw myself in the lava pit and I kill myself. If I try to execute the command block, it doesn't do anything. That's because I need the minimum of four death. So I'll go back in. And when I say minimum, I need that I mean four is also good. So I need four or more deaths. So now I have two. It does nothing. Actually, I'll just switch on switch this on to three. That way it will take a bit less time. So we'll go back in the lab a bit. Kill myself. I'm dead. Three times now. Come back here. And what is that? Hey, it didn't say. Done. Okay. Oh, I need to be on creative to do this. So whatever. I'll just go back in the four times. Four time, and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And here I am. I died. Ah, oh, come on. What is this? No. You. No. You. Hey. No! Okay, that works. That's good. Okay, so I died four times and I need a minimum of four. So I press the button and the door opens. So I'm now able to go through the door. So that's a pretty cool thing. And if I go back on creative, what is this? Game mode one. And I delete the objective I have now. Um, score, board. What is this? Okay. Board. Objective. Remove. Debt. And here we go. It's not here anymore. So I'll try. I, I cannot do the player count kill. Player kill count because I am alone and I cannot kill another player. But I will do the total kill count. So let's create it. Score. Board. Objectives. Objectives. Add, I will call it kills, and then it's total again capital K, capital C kill count. Enter it works. So I will make it that that way. I will be able to see the score. So scoreboard um, objectives objectives set display, and I will do it in list list. For the name, it's kill. Here we go. So if I press tab, you're going to see Joyamak, my name. And in yellow, that's my amount of kill I have. So unfortunately, when you do this, you cannot see the name of the objective compared to when you write in a sidebar, you see the name on the right hand side. So let's pick up a sword, kill something. And here we go. I killed. Come on, okay, I have two kills now. I press tab, I can see two kills. So I have this command block here, which is named after kills. And here, it's a bit more complicated, I will explain to you. So I slash test four, nearest player, which is me again. And in these, in these brackets, I put in score, kills, which is the objective name, minimum of three. So I need to kill a minimum of three mobs or players, whatever, to be able to open the door and come up. Score kills again the name and equals six. So I need uh, an, an amount of kill between three and six to be able to open the door. So right now I have two as you can see. I push a button, nothing happens. If I kill this 
my friend right here I have now three kills come over here and it worked so since the maximum if is six I will show you guys that if I do more than six it's not gonna work so I'm now destroying everything this pig is freaking invincible I cannot what is that what is die pig Ooh, you're dead okay I now have a kill count of five six and seven and it should not work anymore press the button and it doesn't work so that's pretty cool I will show to you guys that you can add a score so I now I have a score of seven and if I do um, dash a slash score board players I write in set write my name the objective name which is kills and I can add myself I have seven so I'll add three enter and now I have a, a, a score of three if otherwise I instead of set I write in add to my score of three I will now have a score of six so enter and I now have six and if I remove let's say five points to my score of six you're gonna see my score will go down to one here we go my score is now one and if you want to see all the players that are playing right now, you just go um, score, board, players, and list. You can see showing one tracked players on the scoreboard, Giant Mac, which is me. And again, I'm alone, so I cannot see any more players. I just have one more thing to show you guys, and it's the fact that you cannot uh, see one, uh, more than one uh, objective at a time. So let's say... I uh, scoreboard objectives set display sidebar for my kills. I now have my amount of kills. If I create another objective, so scoreboard objectives add let's say uh, death, and I will add um, death count. It didn't work. Okay, how come? What is that? Oh, like I was saying, I need the capital C. So, capital C, and here we go, it worked. So, just as an example, I will kill myself. What is this? Game mode, zero. Go in the lava pit. Die. Murder a pig. Nope, not, not enough time. No, 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 no. I respawned in the lava pit. That is not good. That's not good. I don't want to die. Okay, so I have a one kill still, and if I want to see, as you can see, I have two objectives going on right now, kills and deaths. Uh, I, unfortunately, I cannot see more than one objective at a time, so I can see kills, but not deaths. If I come here and I do uh, score, board, objectives, set, display, uh, sidebar, and deaths, it changes it to deaths. But you cannot see both of them at the same time. So um, that's pretty much it. I will leave in the description below the video a diagram which looks pretty much something like this. Maybe a bit prettier. But you can always refer to it as an, a guide to help you manage your scoreboard. And once again, thanks for watching guys. If you understood, well, good job. This is really complicated. It took me a long time to figure this out. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and have a good day.